Hey, what's up coach? Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, I'm gonna show you the three types of coaches out there. Now, what I want you to do after you watch this video is I want you to shoot me a text. Tell me which coach you are, all right? And I wanna try to help you out here because if you fall within these first two categories here, I can tell you that you're only going to reach a certain point with your business and you're gonna just cap out at that spot. And the whole goal of our channel is to make sure that you don't cap out with your business. You have so much potential as a coach to reach more kids in your local community. And if you cap out, you're gonna to get to a point where you're going to either give up on this business or you're going to burn out, all right? And typically what I see with business owners who are brand new or even coaches that have been in business for 10 to 20 years, I place everyone in one of these three buckets here and what I want you to do is watch this video and you'll see the clear cut difference between the three. Now we're gonna start first with the unprepared coach. And what does the unprepared coach do? Well, first off, when they show up to their sessions, they're just winging it. They show up and they make up things as they go. And if you are a coach, if you're a good communicator, you can get away with that, that's cool. But guess what? You won't be able to do this as a scalable business in the future if you operate that way because how can you expect to bring on assistant coaches and have them wing it, all right? Most people cannot wing, wing it in this business. And if you can, well, guess what? It's gonna be hard to teach someone else how to wing it if they're gonna be working for you. So you can't do that, all right? You can't be unprepared in that aspect of this business. You have to show up with a plan, with a training plan of what you're going to execute that day either with your client and on one-on-one -on -one training or in a group setting or in a camp or in a clinic, doesn't matter. You cannot be unprepared. That is on the training side. And then on the business side, when I think of coaches who are unprepared, they don't have a way of getting paid. They don't have a location. They don't have systems in place and they just sporadically market themselves and they hope to get referrals. That is not a sustainable way of running your business. So if you are unprepared right now, we have to move you down the list. Ideally, we want you to move from being unprepared to prepared. Now, let's say you're prepared, all right? Being prepared is so much better than being unprepared, but there's a big problem that I see with coaches that are just prepared. They don't know how to adjust to problems as they happen. They're prepared, but they are not overly prepared. All right, I'm gonna show you the difference. So if you're prepared, that means you have a pretty stable business. Um, it means that things are going pretty good for you and you have your ducks in a row, which is good, all right? But there's always another level of being prepared in this business. And it's like that, whether you're in business or just in your own personal life, it is all the same, all right? And here's what I see though. Coaches who have their ducks in a row, all right? They have more confidence, which means typically they make more money, right? They make more money, that means they probably have some level of systems in their business. But the biggest problem that I see with coaches who are just prepared is they don't know how to adjust to problems quickly. They typically take longer to problem solve. So for example, if a client's payment fails, they kind of dilly-dally, they take a few days to, to deal with it, someone who is overly prepared, figures that out, they have a system for that. All right, let's say someone who is supposed to show up every Friday at 4 p.m., they text you at 3.55 and they say they can't come. Someone who is prepared but not overly prepared might take a day to be mad about that. Uh, someone who's overly prepared is going to figure that out. They already have a system in place for that. They already know how to deal with clients like that. Or let's say you know someone applies on your website and you have a good website, you're prepared. All right, but you don't have a good application process, right? You might look prepared from the outside, but on the inside, you're not, all right? You're not overly prepared. And this is the difference, is these coaches here, all right, this is where you wanna be. You wanna be overly, overly prepared. And the reason why, most people that try to start this type of business, they wing it, like I talked about for coaches who are unprepared, 
or they have some level of professionalism in their business, which is good, right? It's good to be more professional than not. But here's the difference. The top 1% of coaches out there, they do this. They are on it. That means when something goes wrong in their business, they have a system for it. It's already been dealt with, right? And they have everything set up to the point when a parent gets on a call with them, they know, wow, this coach is so different. This coach is not like anyone else that we've talked to. And here's the thing. When parents go on Google or when they look on Instagram or they look on Yelp, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. They're not just looking at your business. They're looking at all of the other competitors in your area. So they're going to compare how you are versus other coaches. And other coaches are doing, most are doing this, some are doing this, and very little people do this. Now, you want to be in a spot where you are so uncommon compared to other coaches in your area. And this is why if you are overly prepared, that is an instant separator in your business. And when you do that over and over and over again, it just becomes natural, right? And here's the, here's the thing, though. You can't just be this way in your business. You don't just magically wake up that way. You are like that in your own personal life, too. So if you're not organized in your own personal life, don't expect to be organized in your business, all right? And the reason why I'm sharing this video with you is because I want you to be this way. If you are this way, you get to have way more impact in your area. You end up having a lot more income uh, with your business and your business starts to feel way easier when you are overly prepared because you deal with less problems as they come. And guess what? The problems will continue to come in your business as you grow. That's just normal. That's part of it. But this business is so much easier to run when you're overly prepped. If you're not prepared at all, if you're just kind of prepared, guess what? This business is hard. This business is really hard. Any business is hard. But when you're overly prepared, you separate yourself. You look like a lion right? compared to little cats <laughs> in your area. And that's how this should be if you're overly prepared. So hopefully this video helps you. If this is the first video you've watched on my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you wanna make more money in your coaching business and you wanna chat with me, go to, I think it's the first link in the description. You can check out our coaching program. You can see what we do. You can see all the results from coaches that we've worked with. I highly recommend, go watch that video, uh, get in contact with me, and uh, I can't wait to chat with you. See you later.